it's a little thing. Man, they not for around here. Yeah. I think it's a little thing. Rockstar. Thing. Greetings, earthlings. This is my introduction. They say greatness doesn't come overnight, so I'm not rushing. Spaced out swag. Best believe I'm paper touching. Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash. I see why you don't understand. UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding. All I speak is cash. I see why you don't understand me. Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon. This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing. Standing tall, never too far. Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall. Y'all about to start hating, and I don't mind at all. I'm a thriller like MJ, and my flow is off the wall. Who they? Who they? So I'm not rushing, spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching, super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing, UFO, uniquely flow.
Alright. Hey, welcome to the Who That Podcast, the livest podcast inside of Mississippi and now River motherfucker. We live. We on the mothership, baby. How you doing? As always, this is B. Nice to see you again. You made it another week. Look at you. Look good. No COVID. Out of family. All right. Yeah. We got Paco. What's up? What's up? How's everybody doing tonight? And on the goddamn mothership with us, we have uh, multiple guests. Because we have multiple rooms. Because we balling up here. Y'all just don't see it. So, we have uh, uh, musical guests, musical talents. You know what I mean? From uh, the 931 area. uh, Showing love. They have come on uh, to the show to bless us with their presence. We have Mr. Arvel Terry and we have Mr. Trent Turner, Trinity Ray. And Trinity Ray brought uh, uh, members of the Trinity Ray Music Group. Could you introduce uh, who you got with you, man? I got my uncle with me, uh, White Brush Skinny, and my brother Ratchet Mack. What up, everybody? What up? What up? Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yo, so this is a very special episode. If you already can't tell, you know what I mean? Um, Shout out to everybody that's watching. Uh, make sure that you share this, tag people, all that good stuff that you guys do. Uh, how y'all week been? Thank y'all for, for joining us and everything. Busy, busy. And, and coming, is y'all first time on the mothership and everything like that? Oh, am, I in, am I in frame? What's <laughs> <laughs> up? So, um, kind of, we'll start with you, Arvel. Kind of tell them who you are, what you do, where you're um, from. My name's Arvel Terry. Country artist, uh, I are living here, in Columbia. Um, kind of new, just put my first single out last year. Nice. What's um, the name of it? Small Town Boys. Small Town Boys. Um, we will be playing that. That'll later. be my first single. Uh, you can find me Orville Terry Music on Instagram, Facebook, uh, anywhere in social media. Um, right now, doing a lot of big things as far as writing, getting ready to uh, start working on my uh, my first EP. That's what's up. So, um, looking That's forward to that. Up. Got you some really good stuff. Yeah, very excited. Very different. Very different direction. So, uh, I'm excited to, to see how people feel about it. So, okay. Is this your first time approaching a project? Of this size? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've done a couple little singles and stuff. I'm, I'm still relatively new into the industry. But you, uh, um, you like so, I'm, I'm still learning how the business operates, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a... That's a whole master class. Right there with you, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's a whole other beast from the outside what you see on TV. Oh, hell oh, yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Yeah, yes, it is. And in, in the music industry, you got to be so careful because there's so many snakes and you think you're making the best move and then you find out they bit you right in the ass. Mm-hmm. So you mm-hmm. always have to have them cross your T's, dodge your eyes, mm-hmm. all that shit. So, Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> man, uh, what about you, man? Uh, my name is Trey Turner. I'm originally from Columbia, but I live in Lewisburg. I'm a producer, engineer, singer, songwriter. Uh, I also shoot music videos, videographer, photographer. Um, I released my first actual project in 2016 titled My Time, and then I went through drastical changes, like my brother was talking about with people and just situations and trying to figure out how to get it out there the right way and, you know, Mm-hmm. Three years, and I'm right here, and I finally released my my actual. This is actually the first album. If you want to be real, like being able to own it and have full ownership, and there you go. And there it's you a go. it's a accomplishment, you know. But yeah, it's titled yeah. New Beginnings. It's on all platforms: iTunes, Spotify. You can check it out. Uh, I got a URL. I'm about to get on T-shirts, so you'll be able to check that out. Uh, I want to shout out the people that uh, helped me on it. Chubby Boy Beats. We got a project with him. Uh, titled uh, Heartfelt, uh, another project, uh, the remix album that will be dropping December 20th. Okay. Uh, got them featured on it too. My brothers, uh, Zaquan, uh, <laughs> White Bread. I mean, who else is on there? Zaquan, you yeah, already said Zaquan. But uh, yeah. That's what's up. All right. A lot, of, a, lot, a lot of good man. stuff. You know, I really haven't said much about it, but. Now it's said so. Yeah, man, you look like you're in good spirit though. You look like you're happy. I'm trying to be, man. I, I'm led by the spirit and only by the spirit, you know. So I try to keep it like that. You know. That's what's up. Man. I've been <laughs> led by a lot of people, you know. I've been be- and I try to, you know. Yep. It's hard to explain, but. Nah, I mean, get you, it. you try, you try to like go, go by with, with. But I got a bunch of good people around me, so that's what matters, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Shanti and Sermon and all of them, Urban. 
That's what's up. That's what's up. And uh, uh, shout out to Time to Eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's watching. John Sparkman yeah. already gave us the flex. Yeah, the right. flex. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout Salute out to man. Big John, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he trying to do something down there in Lewisburg, man. He's yeah. trying to do something down there. He 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 really see that there's a, a need, you know, and and he's using Time to Eat as a as a hub to, mm-hmm. to to give an outlet to people. It's, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. I think that if you keep working at it, it's, it's definitely going to be one of those central locations that people start going yeah. to and get they, get they, they, they art out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they got some fire-ass food. Yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> that catfish plate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That so what... Yeah. What got what got uh, everybody into doing music? What like how uh, it's your first projects and you know we got freshmen. Yeah. So like, how long you been into music though? I've actually only been doing music, quote unquote, professional. Mm-hmm. Um, last two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually moved here to the Nashville area like seven years ago to go to college, start doing acting and stand up. Oh, oh, oh. I always love music. I grew up in a musical family. Um, you know, ground. Where'd you me. move from? I moved from a, a small town, in Rock Island, Tennessee, about two okay. hours from here. Okay, still native. Yeah. Yeah, 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 still, still in the area. Uh, Florida boy, born and raised. Okay, uh, all right, all right. most of my youth and then my adulthood okay. was spent yeah, in Tennessee. So I'm kind of on the redneck from the water and the mountains, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get both sides. But um, no, I've always I've always felt deeply connected to music, but I guess I was always afraid to step out mm-hmm. and do it. Um, and about two years ago on Father's Day, I wanted to do, uh, uh, I wanted to go in a studio, so I, I went and got a hold of this uh, studio, and I was like, I, I want to do this song. And he was like, all right, so what do you do? He started naming off to him. I don't fucking know. I just I just want to come here and sing, mm. so I come in there and I did. A, um, even though I'm leaving, uh, it was a Luke Combs cover, and I did it for my father for Father's Day, and I sent it to him, and he cried like a baby. And he's like, "That's good, that's good," and I was like, "Ah, you gotta say that," you know what I mean? Yeah. So I uploaded it uh, to Facebook, and it hit like 1,300 views the first week. Nice. It took off and started getting hit up, and I was like, "Wait, maybe there's something here." Right. Mm-hmm. And. Um, that was kind of it. That was that was when I kind of solidified. This is where I feel at home. This is where I feel comfortable. It's where I need to be. And ever since then, it's, it's just been about the music. So because I have to say, when I when I met you, uh, we were having conversations about whole other stuff. And at the end of the conversation, as I'm about to leave, uh, uh, my brother Matt mentions that he sings. And he's like, "Yeah, I told you about it." And I'm like, "Yeah, all right. I thought, yeah, I think you mentioned it." He's like, "Oh, you want to hear my song?" I'm like, "Yeah, all right." And the small town boy, what you're gonna hear uh, uh, just a little bit is fucking amazing. Like, thank you. Like, yo, when when I heard the boy, because I mean, you know, when you're sitting there, you already having like chit chat and everything. Right. Somebody, like, hey, you want to hear? All right, yeah. But you're not expecting like, right? Like when you guys hear it, I was because you saw my face. I looked and I was like. You waited till the end to to to, right. to play this. Well, I, I, oh, humble, whatever it is, I'm. I'm <laughs> I think I sound like two squirrels fighting in a trash can, <laughs> but that's just me. That's me criticizing myself. So I never really, truly like I'll put something out, yeah. and then I take the feedback back from it. Right. So I never kind of gloat my stuff. I put it out. That's how I felt about it, and then see how it comes back. So that's a, that's and then I grow from there. I, I change up from from the feedback on that. So that way, bro. Move school this way. There you go. Now you're in right, your head. Head. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. Yeah. I didn't know that you could only see a little bit of me. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, you can't only see, like, the side of me. Yeah. All right. You do that so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, sorry. I apologize. No, you got Um, We do a podcast with photographers. Yeah. You know, we, the angle, my nigga. Right. You gotta have a good angle. <laughs> so... Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead, go ahead. That's the other thing. Like I said, learning the industry, I learned that I'm a singer, but I'm not just a singer. I'm my own photographer, my own like marketing, right? My T-shirt designs, like right. mm-hmm. wearing all those hats. You're not only learning how to sing and to sing better. Mm-hmm. You have to learn how to market yeah. and run that business in a right. hundred different hats yep. at the same That's time, that which is, is and, and you hat. have to know. Even if you don't do it full time, you have to know enough. 
to realize when you're getting a good deal and when you're getting a fucked up deal. Mm-hmm. Or if this this seems right and this seems wrong. Because if you don't, you're going to order 10,000 shirts and it's going to be some bullshit. And that, mm-hmm. nothing's worse than spending the money on the bullshit. Right. So, now that's what actually uh, got me into the photography, videography thing. Because I was rapping um, in like 2011, 12. And like it was going good. We were doing shows and, and all that. But... I realized there was a, I, I hit that that point of like, mm-hmm. all right, and if we put out a song, what else and, can I do? Yeah, mm-hmm. and like, but I, I I realized like, oh, that takes marketing. Oh, I need to know how to take a picture of myself and make a single artwork. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to understand how to how to do flyers, and my flyer and my single artwork are two separate things. So now when I do uh, when we go do parties or do a show or something like that it's not just all words on the paper right. they gotta actually see us oh okay so to do that i need a camera all right now i got this camera i, I can shoot videos mm-hmm. okay damn now i gotta learn how to shoot a video but right. now now you can and it's just a whole thing so i actually fell back in like 2012 and literally like circumventing went all the way around to where now i can do my own merch i can take my own photos i can do videos I can do uh, like completely the whole the whole thing around what comes with releasing music nowadays instead See, of just figure the video part out <laughs> dude I had to figure it all out so now I can get back into it uh shout out to BFG I got signed to a, a, a deal last year and now when they do their part I can have say so and like no nah, we need to have it like this in the color scheme and i can be a creative director and when it comes to picking out the single artwork for the songs i was able to sit there with the photographer and the graphic designer and be like no this font gives up gives off this and you need to do that and because of the shading and da da right. and it was like you actually feel Steps. that creative control so then when you do get an infrastructure that'll help you you're not just sitting there on some like yeah whatever you guys think I've been done the video stuff, but I, like, if you look at some of my Instagram pictures, like I'll get like a beer can and throw a black sheet over it. I'm just sitting there with like a little click button taking my pictures. <laughs> and they're like, dude, these look really good. And I was like, I had to like push the kids in the bedroom to take them. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in a closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm very perfectionist, so I, I haven't touched videos yet stuff. because I'm afraid of putting out a video that just looks cheesy. Right. Yeah. So I won't. I'd rather not put it out rather than put something out that right. looks halfway right. done. Yeah. Now, Trent, same question to you about getting started, and um, he has crossed a little bit of the uh, the video threshold, so kind of talk about that for a minute. Too. Well, I started, uh, well, not the writing music, but like more cover music whenever I was about three to four years old in the studio with my grandfather, um, and then I started hearing them, my uncles, you know, they was up in there Chilling. rapping, white bread, you know, they was all up in there rapping. <laughs> but that's before I was even doing cover music. We was listening to them, and then I just busted open one day, and that's when I messed up. Yeah. My granddaddy was just like it stuck, you know. He had me in there every weekend, and I grew to grew up, you know, sixteen, seventeen, and he finally passed away. You know, he got old, you know. Yeah. And what a hell of a way to bond. Yeah. Trying to find peace at that, and trying to figure out the things that I had to figure out on recording, and you know the things he was doing for me, you know, just like he was talking about steps and steps and steps. Yeah. But uh. But what a what a what a hell of a great introduction. Yeah. To the music, like through through the like, all right, and we're gonna I'm gonna get deep real quick. Yeah. Like, we all have dreams and things that we wanna that we wanna do, but as as we see in, in other cases, they don't always come to fruition. Mm-hmm. But learning and finding your voice and your love for music by way of your grandfather and your uncle and so that's that's how it's ingrained in you when you have kids and then you pass it on to them you know what i mean you singing lullabies and shit you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's like that that type of stuff like i'm sorry i'm sad no, i got kids you're man you're like, like no i did the like, same thing with my kids yeah, like, 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 and stuff and yeah, I start no, writing no, no, appreciate it more yeah yeah, appreciate yeah. It more, you know yeah man that shit will just it'll it'll hit and like man this song I've been working on since I was like 12. I was, that's a song with your grandfather. That's like before yeah, we yeah, came here, we hard. made a song. It didn't even take 15 minutes. But, you know, we just had to become... Yeah, you were that. talking about that uh, before we, we, we jumped on, uh, your work process. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm, I, like, I, I say I'm quick with it, but I'm not meaning to like quick with it just to get it done, and that's what it is, but like I'm, I'm good. 
You know what I mean? Like, I got an ear for it, and I've always had an ear for it. My granddad, like, you know, he worked with me and worked with me, and he prepared me for for, for, for the music, you know? Yeah, yeah. And at that young of an age, I don't know what he was preparing me for, but now I know, and I'm just to the point now, like, I'm not, I don't care about having no crown or trying to be the top not through one artist or none of that. I'm just, I'm just trying to survive and live. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's all it is, you know? Mm-hmm. People can say what they want to say, and they can they can hate, and they can keep on, you know. But I ain't I ain't about none of that. We all can eat. We all can eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, we all we, can eat. We all can eat. And there's so many different genres to where uh, it's not even like you competing with everybody that's trying to do something. Well, like, it's we that, can, but everybody can just when they hear what you do, together, you know then I mean? they take what they take everything that they they've listened to what you did, and then they and it's fine. To, cause that's how people, you, you, everybody gets who they are by somebody else. Think about mm-hmm. what I'm saying. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got Eminem, you got Jay Z, you got Kanye, you got DJ Khaled, you got Drake. They're all somebody because of somebody else. Yeah, they, 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 they had other influences. influences so yeah. you see what I'm saying? That's how it was for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I never took nothing from nobody, but I know this is bad for me saying on this, but I've had people take from me. You know. But it I mean, is what it is. We've had people take it. It is what it is. You know? We say it on this show quite so often. Yes, we do. They don't Y'all be stealing. <laughs> Man, people will be shameless about how they how they You grow what you they, go through. They just take what you what is obviously something that is not theirs and they will make it theirs. And then they will convince themselves in their mind that they're right about it. Mm-mm. And Manipulate. and especially if you're in an industry or in a field or or even in a location to where people feel like it's a bottleneck, right? Mm-hmm. People feel like, like only they got a few you. Was gonna, yeah, oh, or like yeah. only a few of us gonna make it. If you have that mentality, you always gonna run into snakes. You always gonna run into somebody with hidden agendas and a side motivation. You know what I mean? And and they will make themselves justified in their mind so they don't feel like a fucked up person the next day. Right. But it's it, that still don't. Disregard the fact that people will take your shit. Like yes. they was, they, they well, we can say shit. an idea, and by the time we go to bed, somebody <laughs> started got a flyer and, and a website. Right. Yes. <laughs> the website's under construction. And Shout the out, library. Cameron Cowboy. Country <laughs> <laughs> thug. No. <laughs> so, so how's your uh, your interaction with the video, learning the video? Uh, well, like I got, I had people that I I was paying to do videos. Shout out to uh, uh, G Boy Films. Uh, I kind of took what he like. I didn't necessarily take nothing from him. I just observed what he did for me for right. my videos, and I just ran with it. You know, not right. that I would never use him. I would always use G Boy. You know, right. if I need him. You know, but I'm just to the point where I'm, I need what I I need to get done. What I need to get done. Right. To where it don't you know I'm not having to pay off so so much money each time I do a video. You know. Right. I feel like once I get to a point where I'm I'm good and I'm straight, then I can get him on that type of level, you know, because he's a he's his time is money, you know. Right, absolutely. And it's worth it, you know. And y'all hit up Jew Boy Films if you want a video, this video <laughs> for real. Okay. But, All right. Uh, that reason right there, you know, just going places, not having a camera, you know, you see things, you wish you had it on camera. So another reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so my granddad, what? he was always into videos and cameras and always filming me, you know, growing up. But, yeah. Man. A lot of inspiration from your grandfather, I see. Uh, uh, well, so what made you already decide, you know what I'm saying, you were going to start a music group, you were going to bring your family into it? And, uh, and, well, it wasn't necessarily something that I wanted to do. It was more something like they kind of was just like, hey, you know, we're sitting here, like, you know, we get you Trinity Ray, like, we ratchet, we white rib, but like, this is, we're a music group pretty much, you know, we are, you know, we're family, and I know they're not going to take from me, and I'm not going to take from them. I let them do what they're going to do. I don't try to change their image or what they want to do. They're going to be them and I'm going to be me. Right. You know? Right. And that's how it is. And I can trust them. You know, it's just right. like with my, my homies, Chubby Boy, and everybody else, you know? Yeah. Sean T and all of them. They love me and I love them. Okay. You know? Right, bro. So, how, how long uh, you been you been rapping? Because he said he, he used to listen to you do your thing before he even, like, like <laughs> believed in himself enough. So, you were one of his early. Influences, inspirations. So how like yeah, how you I, been doing? I started rapping years ago, and then I quit. And oh, I right. raised, raised some kids and stuff, you know. And then life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah and then just one day, I don't know. I just 
it was either start rapping or I don't know, I had to let some stress out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I started doing it through music. Yeah. You know? How how hard was it to get back into it? Like how long had you taken a break? I took a break like twenty years, wasn't it? Man. I think it was well, I think it was like eighteen. Eighteen years. Eighteen man. years, wow. Man. Mm -hmm. And then so how like was it like you had to shake the cobwebs off? Was you a little rusty? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little rusty. It'd be like that, though. It'd be like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be like Ray had me out. Yeah. It'd be Ray. All right, tell me this. Tell me, and you, you don't have to answer to it. <laughs> when you first got back on and you was about to uh, record your first, your, your first like, verse, right? You know, Easy E off Straight Up Compton. Yeah. That's how it was. Oh, okay. That's the mission on the moment, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you get a little rusty, man, like... Yeah. I took off like three years, and when I finally, uh, shout out to uh, Ben, he, he didn't came on the show, he had me featured on the song, and I thought I could get right back into it, I had my verse wrote and everything, and it was just, I, I needed to put that metronome on for me real quick, <laughs> once I got it, I'm like, alright, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool, alright, so, uh, 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 Ratchet, you, have you been rapping for a minute, you took a break, or you just recently well, got he's, he's actually a year older than me, so we're pretty much the same age. Oh, you know, okay. Just, and he, I, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily just took a break yeah. or anything like that, because man, my granddaddy, you know, when I was about probably six years old, maybe even seven years old, the stuff that I was saying then, I was a little kid, and I was just watching what was going on around me, mm -hmm. you know, and it was crazy that... You know, it, it was a lot of jibber jabber and a lot of stuff thrown in that was repetitive. Oh, but it sounded yeah. like it could have been something. And my granddaddy, you know, he wasn't my real granddaddy, but he, he was my granddaddy, you know. Oh. Uh, man, he, he just done it, I'm pretty sure, because we was just kids and we wanted to do it. And we was trying to be <laughs> like our uncles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and, uh, man, it, it, you know, it's hard talking about some of that. But, uh, man, uh I just I thank him because he keeps it going, you know. Like if it wasn't for him, it'd be it'd be done with, you know. Keeping it alive, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's that's the that's the beautiful part of this. It it's like regardless of whatever happens, whatever route, you know what I'm saying. You end up taking if you end up being underground, blow up, and you know what I'm saying. Now you traveling across the the ocean or whatever. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it like it was it was kept alive, you know what I mean? Like regardless of the how it went, it was like I, I learned this from my people mm -hmm. and I'm carrying it on. I'm carrying the torch, you know what I'm saying? That's the that's that's the beauty in it right there. Everything else is like what is, what they say, the icing on top, you know what I <laughs> mean? Like, everything else. Yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah. Man, that's that's the cool shit. Uh, I wanna ask you about um what's it like approaching the solo wise. Wait, should we jump into uh, one of the songs first? You want to go ahead and play Orville's track? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go ahead and tell yeah, them what they're going to be listening to real quick. So this is my first uh, single, Small Town Boys. Um, kind of wrote it about growing up as a kid, um, McMinnville, running uh, liquor up the mountain and, and just being back with a little boy, I guess. Um, Pretty much it. I'm not okay. Gonna, I'm gotta do it this way. <laughs> it's okay. You wanna go ahead and uh and cue that in?
stop sign running barefoot through the Tennessee pines. Made of memories across the county high. We don't change our way. We don't change our mind. Top down, roots in the ground. Country in a rut. Small town ain't giving up. Top down, roots in the ground. Country in a rut. Small town ain't giving up. For a small town boy. sure that you guys loved it it was fucking fabulous uh how long did it take you to make that like so actually working on that song from 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 writing until i got the master back took us about two months mm, okay. um but we we literally wrote it there in the studio i kind of brought ideas and, and got a guitar player to come in the studio and we wrote it and then we demoed it and then we sent off all the tracks to get our, our fiddle or um, mm. guitar was filmed in there but uh, it was too small to have live drums mm. so we sent it off to have the live drums recorded and sent back to us and then sent it off for mix and then sent it off for another to master so that was my first full mix master production single yeah to put out and that was definitely my kind of jump in the water with everything that goes along with doing it so yes, i've done a little yes, here all. and there yeah. but yeah doing yeah. the whole thing my producer called me he's like so we got to do this we got to do this i need to send money here and i'm like wow yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that was my jump in and now I'm, like i said i'm working on ep so it's it's tenfold just way more going on so right. well, I'm glad at least you're doing it the up. right way too you know what i mean so many people put music out they don't have anything to protect themselves mm -hmm. and it just gets taken you know what i'm saying i know mm -hmm. plenty of people got music taken by a bigger artists. You know, that's mm -hmm. the thing. A bigger artist steals your music, it's hard to fight that. You yeah, know? Yeah. They got the bankroll to fight it. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, it was really good, though. It was really it was good. good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, one of those talking on as far as new artists in, in my belief, and that's kind of what got me started into doing music is I watched a lot of the, especially the Nashville independent scene, uh, even on the rap side with, with you know, Jelly Roll, uh, Struggle, um, mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of the newer guys that are coming up and, and Yellow making Wolf. Yellow Wolf. I seen him in downtown uh, about two weeks ago. He's cool as hell. Um, I know Yellow Wolf too. He is cool as fuck. But um, yeah, watching these guys, and, and I know on, on my side of the, the industry, a lot of people have an issue with Luke Combs and the, and the trouble that was between him and Upchurch, but he ain't ever done me wrong. I like his music. But I remember watching him within five years playing a guitar on his bed, doing like little vines, mm -hmm. to being the biggest country star out now, and what he's putting out, and I was like, man, watching him do that, if he can do that, I can do that, you know, right. and watching Nashville become what it is with the independent scene, like I said, watching Jelly Roll, I mean, I, a few years ago, I remember I met his producer when I lived in Winville, I was working at a, um, a sawmill, and he's like, you like rap, and I was like, yeah, and he handed me a little, little plastic sleeve, little CD, little mixtape, yeah. He's like, bump this. 
spent the whole summer listening to Welcome to the Trap House and stuff off Jelly Roll and then watching him explode into what he is. He just performed and, and like Grand Old Opry. Did the Grand Old Opry. He did, uh, was it, um, he played Simple Man on stage with the, uh, I'm going to feel real retarded, I can't think of the name of the band. But, um, I mean, watching what he's doing and, and watching how the industry goes, it's like... Growth. The gr- Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of where I feel like you were talking about people stealing stuff and, and, and people being and a lot of the I hang out in Nashville and a lot of the mainstream writers and stuff they're very this is mine this is mine right. but when you get around the independent like it's all about the love it's all about just sitting down I mean one of my good friends and, and he's been signed and he's been on the radio and everything now he's just kind of touring right. you know he's rode the wave up and down he's like man you sit down and you write a song Sometimes you get a song, sometimes you get free tacos. It's just, it's, <laughs> yeah. you're just having fun doing what you're doing. And that, yeah. and that means a lot to me. And that's, that's where I take it is, yeah, it'd be cool to be that celebrity status. And all that. I just want to make enough money to take care of my kids, put a little farmland somewhere right, in a right. little ranch, have some horses. That's it. Like, I just, it, that's all I want Survive. to do is just, I want to be able to live comfortably right. and be able to, to put out the music. And, and hopefully it connects with people. If not, I'm, I'm still going to be sitting there having fun. So. Right, right. Absolutely. But I do what I was saying, sorry, round track. Yeah, I do yeah. believe that today's age is very good for artists. It, it's bad, but it's good. It's good, but it's hard, too. It, yeah. it, it's hard because you've got everybody jumping in, mm-hmm. but I feel like the, the real ones, the ones that are really working towards it and are genuine about it, you'll see them kind of move up the ladder as the other ones will start to fall off. Right. And the cream will rise to the top. So, yeah. <laughs> definitely opening up a different, different vein. Right. And then... You know, don't restrict yourself to just, you know, this market or whatever. A lot of people do a lot of sales internationally. A lot of people do not tap in enough to the international market. You know, even overseas. Yes, hip hop, Asian mm-hmm. culture loves our hip hop. Yeah. They want, they want to do everything we do. And so many hip hop artists. If you notice, that. they release movies there before in the U.S. Yeah. So I should tell you something. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I tried doing some hip hop. I got I got this like weird idea in my head and I went to my producer, I was like, I'm gonna rap. He's like, All right. <laughs> he had a track. And he stopped and he goes, Don't rap. No, <laughs> don't rap. <laughs> but I don't know, I've never looked into you where those people. you need those people. Country or you know, other countries that country music I'm sure there is, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's huge markets everywhere. Like like even uh, like South Africa supports a lot of our music too. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of artists go over to South Africa. Hey, yeah, and boom out. Mm-hmm. They they might hey, rent a venue music. here. Hey, God, music. <laughs> Dude, I grew up to that stuff. Yeah, God, they, But they 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 love uh, uh, the international music in Africa. Fat Joe, uh, he's a rapper. Mm-hmm. He told a story how he got kidnapped in Africa. Oh wow! Like, uh, like he wasn't kidnapped like. Like prisoner, but he couldn't go home either. <laughs> like they was paying him, but he had to perform much more than he agreed to when he flew over there. Right, like, right. So it was just like they loved him so much, he just had to stay. Right. So we'll pay you, but you're good to do it. I wish I had that. But you're not leaving. Right. 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 We need you to perform again. Again, yes. Because yeah. you, you can't keep writing the checks and I'll right. just keep getting up. Yes. Look, yeah, hell yeah. You can take my roofing job. I ain't getting paid at all right now, so. <laughs> Shit. You can't go home. We give you more money. Shout so out to Jay Spain. Hell yes, I'll sing this song again. <laughs> right? It's like when I was working the. Uh, lean back. <laughs> <laughs> all all the Mexican weddings. What are about? Lean back. <laughs> Mexican weddings, they love the photography and the film stuff. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, all right, well, that's it. I'm about to go. They're like, no, nah, you're not leaving yet. <laughs> Shove cash in my suit pocket coat. Mm. You stay longer. I was like, all right. I stay longer. I will stay longer. So, I stay longer. Yeah. I need I need a charger. I <laughs> need my back. Right, right. This camera about to die, and I'm not giving you this back. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just switch to the iPhone. Really. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Keep it's going. It's good. 4K. Get that 4K out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I want to ask y'all some music questions, though. Uh, uh, for everybody, biggest musical uh, influences like like of, of guys that you listen to those first CDs that you got, the ones you listen to when you went to sleep. Like like for me, I know my biggest musical influences are are Johnny Cash, Tupac, Kurt Cobain. Like I know I know that. Hmm. Hell yes. 
That's what I'm talking about. My youngest son is actually named Kurt. For Kurt real? Kurt. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm a country man. singer, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Carolina man. Carolina was just the, growing the up, shit. man. Yeah. Fucking loved it. Fucking loved it. Bleach, everything. <laughs> and vinyl's the truth. Got into fight listening to them. Something's the in the way. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, he's just, he had, I'd love to see him still alive performing. But then again, you like, would he turn into some of your other musicians? Where they yes, he does. They try would. to, they try to like, yeah, reinvent themselves, and it's like you shouldn't have. Yes, it. he definitely would. When, 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 like when that, I don't know when, though, his personality. When, when he was he would have fizzled, and, and if he was still around, he would have had to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He would have gave us at least one album of Oh, Kurt, don't do it. Yeah, but like ah, <laughs> they've got predictions they've done that if if like Tupac was still alive, you know Tupac's still alive. Quit playing. I know, but they said if Tupac was still alive, he was charted to maybe fall off. He was definitely. Yeah. No, like you gotta think about it. Like when he died, when he got killed, he was on bail. He was on bail. Right. Like he stumped the dude in the casino the same night. Mm-hmm. That's that's violation. Right. He was already in there on eleven years. Right. He was out on bail and violated probation on an eleven year. Right. So even if they gave him a thirty five percent or whatever. You still got to sit down for another three years. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And in and, and music terms, another three years? From that date to... What what, what year did Tupac die? 94? Yeah. To 97? 98? You know what I mean? No, he definitely would have... That Suge Knight went to jail for that exact night. Right. Like, Tupac definitely would have went. Like, right. If he if he would have it would have been a DMX recipe, <laughs> but it would have been more like DMX. Like, damn, you went to jail again. Yeah. When are you gonna get right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, as a country, um, Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. Now, if you if anybody follows Garth Brooks, that man retired for like was it fifteen years to raise his girls. Right. The biggest artist of all, as far as country music goes. Just retired, went and raised his kids, yeah. and then what was it like three years ago? He came back, and I, I was lucky enough to be there when they gave him the seventh diamond mm-hmm. award. And it's like he just picked right back up where he left off and went right back at it. So I mean, it can be done. Yeah, you're right, but that's the right reasons though. Right, he just he chose. You know, what fifteen I mean? years, and as soon as he walked back, they're like, "Hey, you want another award?" By the way, yeah, uh, we were holding this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Trent, who's your who's your influences? Uh, I ain't even lie, man. Like growing up, I did so much like different types of music, and it was more like I wasn't necessarily like stuck with a favorite artist, if that makes sense. Right. And I know this is probably bad me saying, but I don't show fake love, if that makes sense. Okay. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Respect to somebody that I don't know. You know what I mean? I respect it. Hey, what's up? You know, I, you, yeah. you're doing it. I like your music. You know, but I just. I pretty much stay in my own bubble now that I'm older, you yeah. know, but everybody's got a dream and a wish they're trying to pursue just like I am. Who was your, who was your favorite artist when you were younger? When I was younger, uh, like who we was talking about earlier, Prince, yeah. or like uh, some Clint Black, or like Clint Michael Black Jackson, Black. or like mm-hmm. The Temptations, or uh, mm-hmm. Roy mm-hmm. Orbison, or uh, I don't know. Nice. That's a good. That's that's that was I like, a good lineup. That was a good lineup. That was a good lineup. I like the stuff like DJ Khaled. Jesus, that's that's all the way from Florida. I don't listen. I don't listen to it. He said Roy Orbison and then Tim Allen. If we're going rap, yeah, I would have to say like I just don't. I don't listen to it. I don't listen to it every day. Though that was Scarface. Yeah, that's a good lineup. I don't know. I don't listen to it every day. Though that was Scarface and Ice Cube back in the day. Them two, yeah. Cause I mean, who saw that? Who saw that coming? Right. Scarface. Scarface. Yeah, yeah. Dude, baseball. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Right? Listen, so, that like like the suicide no or whatever the name is. You was like, playing when you were saying you was ready. I know that you ain't meaning when you told me you was tired of life and just wanted to leave, but you was drinking. Right. You know how much oh, that impacts God. you. Hell yeah, yes. We're well, nowadays rap is over. You know what I mean? I know the whole. I know the whole song. I can do the entire first verse. I believe that with any genre. I love Bob Marley. I got to see Stephen Marley live at Bonnaroo back in '08. Dude was amazing show. I've seen Jack White perform, and I'm very diverse myself, and I love that. But what I feel like 
makes a legend in the music industry, like said Garth Brooks, when they sing a song that's nobody's done, or it's not this pop like you know fancy like app. Yeah. It's catchy, but in a year we're gonna be listening to it. No, right, right. But then you come out with you know these other artists that put something out that you can break up to, you can cry to, you can lose the loved one to. And you feel those and connect with those. Play it later. Later. Yeah, you know they're never gonna go anywhere. And unfortunately, I'm a '90s kid, and I still feel like the '90s was our best generation for music because mm-hmm. there was so much of that that we've now kind of got into. In, in, and that's why I love the independent side instead of the mainstream side because I've, I've met some of the mainstream artists in the country music field, and then meeting the independent guys, and there's so much more freedom to do that where mainstream's mm-hmm. like, this is gonna sell put this out it's mm-hmm. like nobody no just put it out you know what i mean and it, it's a lot of just funneling mu- money to 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 make as much money as you can you as quick as you can it. throw it in the pan just, yeah. cook it out and go they just want to just it's, it's a it's a uh, costco chasing the bag you know what I mean? yeah they, costco. they're just bleeding these artists dry and then throwing them out to the curb after yeah. they're done still broke right you know and then on to the next one. We're independent with YouTube and Instagram and everything you have nowadays. Independent artists can, can be free to do that mm-hmm. and hold on to that legacy right. without having all those chains attached to them and stuff that a mainstream label would. Right, right, absolutely. Uh, influences. Let, uh, let's go with you first because you look like you weren't ready for it. I'm going to catch you off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you, I got a lot of influences. The most on it, the very first CD that I ever heard and that was ever given to me, my uncle Johnny gave it to me, and uh, it was a little flip, no lie, man. Okay. And, uh, you know, this is the way we, we ball, ball. You know, and we like the flowers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, so, and, and no cap, I'm gonna I'm I'm like, I'm gonna give you something real, man. My daddy, he took and uh, he broke that CD. You feel me? For I, real? I love my daddy, man. You know, he wanted a different life for me. You know, mm. and I made my own decisions. And I'm glad I made my decisions because I'm my own person. True. And he knows that to this day. But, uh, man, that's real talk. Uh, that was, like, one of my favorite rappers. And then uh, as I grew up, you know, Tupac come into the picture, yeah. Biggie Smalls. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of other ones. I could sit here for days and just tell you. Uh, but there was one, man. He's uh, from California, and his name's Burner. And uh, man, yeah. he come up Hell a whole yeah. different way, a whole different ball game. Yes. And I, and I can kind of relate, you know, not on the scale that he was on, but I can relate to that man. And a lot of his music, a lot of his songs, I feel the vibe and I feel what he's saying. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what made me open my eyes up and be like, man, I got a story to tell. My little brother going to help me tell this story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. And it's, it's, and that's, 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 cool. that's cool you mentioned Burner, man, because he, yeah. he got a, a real authentic Uncle Burn, story. Uncle man. You know? <laughs> real, hey, but, but his come up, like, because what you're saying, I know you you, you follow Burner. Yeah. Like, where he at right now? Hey, he, is, he, How can you not be happy for that man? man? He's striving, man. Yo, you got to be happy that's for right. that man. Like, right. like he he's winning right now. In a, in a way to where, like, when he first was doing his thing, it was like, you could tell he was still on the hustle. He was around he was yeah. around people and shit, but, like, now he, like, that last project he just put out, I think he did a, a track with, like, Larry June or something like that, but, like, he well, I think just, he's got a project right now with John Gotti and a bunch of other people, yep, too. Uh, yep, 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 I got to still listen to that, mm-hmm. but that's cool you say him, man. man that's that's thing you you root for the underdogs. Yeah, yeah, that's for hard. sure, for sure, that's hard. man, it's there, he, you know, and uh, the, the little man going to show one day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But another thing I can relate to him on is he, uh, he found out he had some type of cancer. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it was like colon cancer somewhere along them lines. Mm-hmm. Well, my grandma, she passed from that. You oh, know? wow. And uh, he done donated a bunch of money to try to fix that. And, uh, that's I, I mean, that's something else. You know, it touches home. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Like, it's, yeah, it's yeah. real, and it's, that it, man, it, it just don't take just anybody to do that. You know, that man, he, he's got a heart. You know, mm-hmm. and it's showing. He's trying to do better. It ain't about it ain't about all that flashy cars. All about this money right. and all about what he be talking about in his song. Hey, you know, yeah. somebody's life matters. You know what I mean? And that's that's what it's all about. You know. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Uh, 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 white bread, skinny. What's up? I, I was gonna say skinny white bread. Hey, <laughs> 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 well, who, who uh, your, uh, your influence got you started? Man, be too short. 
Hell yeah! Sure, yeah. Hell yeah! I listened to his show when I was way too young. Yeah. I don't know who was supervising me, but they dropped the ball. <laughs> Man, yeah. 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 It's the worst one you should hear. It was Freaky Tales, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, bro, I'm, on, I'm on a bus going to going to eighth grade. These are the tales. The Freaky <laughs> Tales. Girls on there like, what are you rapping about? I'll show you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, when Too Short started doing, uh, producing the porno and stuff. Man. They were like, oh, he's producing the porno. I'm like, did you not listen to, yeah. to the shit he was Why talking about? Why would he not? Absolutely. Are you surprised? Right. I always thought Too Short, Uncle Luke, and Ice T should have made a, a rap group together. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just, just, <laughs> just three different versions of pimps. Yeah. Know, just, just rapping That's together. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it would have been dope as hell. Yeah. <laughs> one with a perm, one with a fade, one's bald. What right. happened you go wrong? Right. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what other influence? Too uh, Short? Probably Pistol. Pistol, yeah. Everybody know what I sold up. You know, mm-hmm. Old school towns, man. That's, That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Are, it, do, do you mess with anybody in the night like, nowadays? He, he like Drake. <laughs> yeah, man. I well, that's when I, I'm in a car with other people, but I mean, that's that's somebody that I like when I hear the, when I hear it, and I hear the engineering and the quality and the voice. That's yeah. that's the sound that I like, you know. And that's Drake, you know. He's got a good I sound. I with Drake, you know. He's I always he's, he's, he's like a pocket. He's always in pocket. He stays yeah. in pocket, and that's how I try to be. That's why I just don't release music all the all the time like I used to. I just yeah, he got know. some. He, he stay he stay right in his lane. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. You Target know, audience. You know what you're going to get from Drake. Right, every I'm time. <laughs> but you like anybody? Oh, like yeah, him? yeah, like Lil Baby. You know okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he, he done a lot. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he really doing this thing. Yeah. So, uh, when you got back into it, are they, uh, did you pull from your, your original influences, or was was it like in that in the time that you, that you you know, at a hiatus, did you find, like, different uh, inspiration? Like, all right, when I was rapping back in 2011, 12, I like Ludacris and Tupac. I wanted to rap fast, but I wanted to be meaningful and deep and poetic. I think it was more him right. losing family than it was anything, than mm. liking influences or anything. I think that's mm. what his hardest part was. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah. So that, it all had to come from the inside. Yeah. It wasn't just yeah. like, oh, I hear that the, how the Migos rapping mm-hmm. now. Like, that sounds <laughs> interesting type shit. It was, I like that. I just grabbed the ball and run with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Let's do it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all got projects dropping also? Yeah, I got uh, coming up uh, on my tractor. Okay. Okay. And we got to play that for him. Shout out to the We playing that. What's the track with Lil Foot? Swing and Swerving. Swing and Swerving. We also got an album that I'm working on right now. I probably got like six songs. Finished it'll probably be like 12 or 16, but it's called Certified Speakers. Certified Speakers. And that'll be with me, us three. Okay. Yeah. All right. That'll be our All project. Right. So the uh, so so the, the whole music group, the label itself yeah, is going to be that'll putting that'll be out. that'll be that project and the remix album. All and right. That'll be that those projects. Now, nice. Is, is the remix an album or is it a mixtape? Well, like the thing about that, like you know how I was telling y'all, I did cover music growing up. All right, well, I wanted to make a project of, like, all, like like you said, influences. I got a lot of influences, just like they do, but, like, I wanted to take a project of me doing what I felt should have been. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not taking their song, and I'm not stealing it. I, like, I love what they did. It was that, it was made that. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. I put more of a twist to it, like somebody told me to do it. Right. And I feel like it was God. You right. know what I mean? Because it's all, not every song is God orientated, but there's a push to it. You know right. what I mean? And that's what it is. There's songs like Gangsta Paradise on there. There's Overnight Celebrity on there. California Love, Dr. Okay. Dre on there. The Forget About Dre song is on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. What other song is on there? Good Day. Got I'm that. just trying to have a good day. Yeah, yeah. That song's on there. You know what I'm saying? It's just right. a bunch of good music. You know, so it's like a ma- it's almost like mashup. a mashup. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. you know in the 2000s you see them CDs in the gas station. Yeah, and it's got them little things on it, and it's all them songs mix match. That's yeah. how the city is, yeah. like for real. Okay, but it's all good music. You know, yeah, the greatest yeah. hits, the greatest hits, the, greatest the greatest deluxe hits. album. That's what it's called, the greatest hits, the deluxe album. And I actually had a uh, guy that made the cover art. Rest in peace. He actually passed away. It's a good friend of mine. It's one of my friends' family, Chubby Boy Beats, mm. and 
it'll be a good dedication memorial for him. So I feel like it'll be a good project. And That's beautiful. I appreciate him making it for me. I didn't even have an idea for the, the, the cover art. I just sent him the songs and he made that cover art for it, how he was feeling, how it should be, and that's how it went. Wow. You know, so that's what's up. That's going, what's up. We're going around with December twentieth. December twentieth. That's okay. what I'm I'm hoping to push the date. Alright. Alright. That's what All I'm hoping. Right. Let's go ahead and uh let's bring up his track. Go ahead and uh, introduce Swing and Swing and Swerving. Okay. And who's Ray. who's on the track? Uh it's me, uh Little Flip, Lost Ghost and Mr. Three Five Nine, produced by me. Okay, all right. So you made the beat, too? Yeah, I made the beat. Uh, he hit me up. Actually, there was a show in Lewisburg at Big John's. Uh, he hit me up. He was just like, hey, I'm about to host this, this show, blah, blah, blah. Get a bunch of people to come. He was just like, I'm trying to get a little flip to come. He's probably going to come, so let's make a song and present it to him. So I was just like, all right, well, I'm already familiar with a little flip because mm -hmm. of them. So right. I figured, like, if I'm really going to get his attention, I need something. I need something that's really, that that's, that's going to hit home to him. Mm -hmm. So I, I just... I took them roots, you know, Texas swing and swerving, you riding down the road, you know what I'm saying, smoking, chilling, you know what I'm saying, so mm -hmm. riding, you know, I made the beat, and yeah. then I made the, the hook, Lost Ghost came, he heard it, blah, 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 laid his verse, That's got everything mixed down, sent it to Mr. 359, because he felt like he was good for it, yeah. for the song, you know, the, the type of vibe it was, all yeah. right, well, we got that down, laid packed, had the show the next day, met Little Flip. Did all that, met him, got the information. All right, the next day he lays his verse on it, Damn. and it just came together, you know, like that. Then they end up shooting their video, doing their scenes up in I think Nashville or somewhere, and then I shot my scenes myself at my homie's house. Okay, big poke, yeah. Damn, all right, <laughs> salute, right. yeah, That's that's how. It goes. <coughs> well, hey, swinging and swerving, um, swinging and swerving. Uh, uh, enjoy that yeah. little flip. This that's pretty cool how you did that. Yeah. That's yeah. Trying to not ride dirty, but my diamond's shining. Can't catch up because y'all behind me. I'm swinging, swerving, riding. Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving. Trying to swerving not ride dirty, but my diamond's shining. I'll put up a fight because I'm still surviving. Swinging down the block instead of swinging on the op. I'm trilingual. I speak the money language to a thot. I got drops and hard tops. I'm bowed until my heart stop. I'm feeling like Jay Z, the life of a hard knock. I be smoking, I be leaning, but you never catch me lacking. I'm always sticking to the script. Look, this my life. I'm not acting. The candy paint got the whip looking laminated. You rocking with the freestyle king, crowned by Robert Day. I'm blessed and highly favored. This moon rock is highly flavored. I smoke cones like Wiz Khalifa. I'm Taylor. I'm Trapping in the quarantine like future with a mask on. My partner did a whole dime, came home and his stash gone. I picked him up and gave him five racks and told him keep it. You know I ride with a speed stick and snow I'm a legend, motherfucker. I ain't eating humble pie. And R.I.P. to DJ Screw. He the king of the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't catch up cause y'all behind me. I'm swinging, swerving, riding. Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving. I'm still surviving. I'm swinging, swerving, riding. Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving. Uh -oh. So dope off my life, but I'm making money off getting in the past. Ice on my neck, keep my heart cold, call my mind just pass. Smoking loud, jet like a gun blast. Boom, boom, pow, pow. Why swing in the sunset? Yeah, my life been wild. But I done made it this far. Slipping the weed in the jar. Slipping the lean in the bar. Some of my people are dead, I'm probably with fed. But I keep my dreams ahead, swing it. I'm just trying to get this bread and feed my kids, swing it. Some of my people died off of banging. But you know we still gonna keep it live, yeah, swing it. And I'm still gonna do it for Lil' Rod while I'm swing it. And I know my life is messed up and it's dangerous, low ghost. Swing it, swerving, swing it, swerving on. Oh. Swing it, swerving, swing it, swerving on. Oh. Swing it, swerving, ride it. Swing and swerving, riding. Try to not ride dirty, but my diamond's shining. Can't catch up, cause y'all behind me. I'm swinging, and swerving, riding. Swing and swerving, swing and swerving. Try to not ride dirty, but my diamond's shining. I'll put up a fight, cause I'm still surviving. I'm swinging, and swerving, riding. Swing and swerving, swing and swerving. 
be paid, same thing, got me hot, shitting on the boys, hitting hard like Ronnie Lot, slab coming down, trunk on knock, hoes on bop, and the beat on knock. Now my grill time when I'm talking shit, my little homie, he raw with stick, I paid no niggas, I'm ballin' bitch for two dollars, could've bought that bitch, I'm riding slab with a trunk on bang, riding slab with a trunk on bang, stay the fuck up in your lane, I'm ice skating on bone cocaine. Came from the Judah down to dance, a brother, neck pocket, pocket full of bands, hands round the run the tear. Smoking on, got me high as a missile in one Boys out here jacking, so I'm riding with my pistol Trying to not ride dirty, but my diamond's shining Can't catch up, cause y'all behind me I'm swinging, swerving, riding Swinging, swerving Shining, I'll put up a fight cause I'm still surviving I'm swinging, swerving, riding Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving on Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving on Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving on Swinging, swerving, riding I'm swinging, swerving, riding Back, alright, we're back alive I was swinging and swerving. What y'all think about that one? Swinging, swerving, swinging, swerving. My man got his track, got it with a little flip on it. He said, it's a major accomplishment. I feel that. You know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. many artists, they have 10, ten albums and, and can't get a feature like that. You know? Yep. So, yep. hats off. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Most definitely. So, uh... We know you got the uh, the, the projects dropping and, and, and you got the whole team that's that's working on, on everything, but what's what's next as far as uh career wise, like that, that, that next move you gonna you trying to get some uh, tours, you're trying to That I'm wanting to push the brand a little bit more with okay. promotion wise and that and try to figure out, you know, that lane a little bit more. That's what's up. Branching out trying to because I'm already I've been trying to work on a clothing line and like get a online store and all that, but like I'm not I got you. You see what I'm saying? I got you. So, so yeah, we, we'll out. talk on that. I got but you. You know what I mean? It's just, like you said, branching out, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do more than just music now. I, hey, definitely. Like, I got friends that write books. I got friends that write scripts for movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm trying to do that type of stuff. Like, my brother, he's actually probably going to get ready to do a movie here soon. <laughs> and we're just we're working on that, getting everything ready. And I bet you're going to be in a movie. Real, Real life film. Movie. Real it's life movie, film, so. man. My, my life from start to beginning. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I told y'all, I got a story to tell, man. It ain't you know even got nothing to do with music. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's got a little bit to do with music, but it ain't. You'll Every see. song that we do is going to be on. You yeah. better believe it's going to be on that movie. You know, mm -hmm. because it's promotion. It's yeah. free promotion. You All know, right. but uh, like I said, it's just I got a story to tell, man. And uh I watch Lil Boosie's movie. You know, yeah. I watch 50 Cent's movie. I yeah. watch I watch all these guys. I watch their movie, and I hear them talk. You know, they like, I'm going to be alive and do my movie. Well, I am too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and, and I got some real stuff. You know, we ain't going to put, air, like, people's names. You know, just really. Right. We, we ain't going to expose people. You know what I'm saying? But we finna tell my story. You know what I mean? Like, Start to beginning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Y'all about to shoot movies and, and do a clothing line. Yeah, a little bit more than that too, though. But yeah. Twenty twenty two gonna be busy as hell. Gonna be yeah. lit. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, what about you, man? You got the the EP dropping <clears throat> after you after you drop the. Do you have a name for it yet? No, I'm still working. Uh, but like right now, I'm really just writing all the songs. Oh, okay. And 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 really taking my time with making sure I'm in that direction because I kind of feel like that too. Like I could sit here and just sing the same country stuff you hear on the radio, mm -hmm. but my life is a lot different than that. Like I, mm -hmm. I grew up in the projects and and, and get a, you know what I mean I, I've done that and I've lived that. I've slain drugs. I've been down that road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, my real father's actually locked up in prison in Jacksonville, Florida right now for robbing liquor store. He's doing 10 years. Um, so I've got that side, and I want to see how I can take that story to other people that can connect with that 
in a country kind of folk way. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I can't rap. That's what I want to I, right? I, I want to yeah, push into that. I want to be able to tell stuff that people connect to through country right. instead of just, you know, girl with a big butt in the back of the truck. You know, nobody wants to keep hearing that shit. It's not legendary. Nobody's going to, they're going to listen to it. It's well, you got to think about this home. though. Where are they going to be at from 10 years from now? No, and people are talking about big butts. You see what I'm saying? They're, they're like, now, flash now, in a pan. Like, yeah. Now, where are they going to be at 10 years from now getting all these chains and... Flash in a pan. You know I mean, it's cool, but yeah. I mean, that's kind of where I, I want to... I want to be something different. And I want to take a lot of the old school country and the new style. There's some rock, little, you know I mean? A little bit of different genres in there and still make it country with a story. To where people listen to it and they're like, damn, I done that shit too you know what I mean like right, right. he's not over here trying to pretend about it like he's he's singing he's some shit that, that most yeah. country artists will never say on a track right right Johnny Cash hell yeah, yeah. yeah. hell yeah read my mind yeah That's my you can definitely me. tell a story with that news oh, I think yeah. there's definitely uh, a lane for that and if you can figure out the best way to connect with the people with that you definitely have something yeah. I've actually, and then and the song's not even finished. I'm just writing it down now, but I'm, I'm working on writing a song that's that's basically it's um, about an outlaw, you know, good die young, to why mm -hmm. the bad guy's got to live forever and snorting coke off a dresser, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sitting her pistol in a hotel room, just like, you know, contemplating life. And I don't think country's ever done anything that extreme. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah it's all about you know <laughs> yeah. god and jesus and back home and that's great i've lived that too i mean i've lived that but i've also lived the other side it's of it. a different and story I like you need to share both sides it's right. good when you experience both of those sides too exactly yeah. balance so right now uh to finish answering your question i'm just writing everything um and then once I get with the producer I'm gonna work with and, and decide which route I'm gonna take with it and the sound that I want to come off with it. Um, then I'll start working on it, which I do all my own album art and stuff and my own photography stuff because uh, I'm broke. <laughs> so um, then, then once I start getting in recording and I see where it's going, then I'll kind of build everything else around it um, and go from there. So I'm hoping by next next summer. I'll, I'll have a pretty good idea. I'll be getting really close to releasing it by next summer. Cool. cool. Should link up with Damien Boggs. Oh my Damian god. Damien has some great music. Oh my god. You have to write all this down. Okay. <laughs> I, I, dude, I've got a short <laughs> track mind. Yeah, that's all right. I have him text you. But Damien's got a lot of soul. A lot of soul in his music. Oh, that's the other thing I love is is. You know, you know, damn. Uh, like, I might uh, know him if I've seen him. I, I'm you really listen know. like Chris Stapleton right, right. and stuff. You listen yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, you know, just really damn. coming up and down with it. That was probably a horrible Tennessee. way to do it. It's okay though. Yeah, but so, Damien Boggs is all that. You need a I guy to do soulful that. blues kind of sound. Yeah. Going He's all of it. He's, He's all of it. He's, this man is the fucking truth. Yeah, like definitely crazy. should reach out. Both of you guys, if you ever need class, crazy we thought about doing Louisiana. a track just to collab with him. And yeah. I ain't even do me. Like well, this, so. uh, it's crazy that you, you mentioned, I was going to actually like wait until right before we ended it, but uh, I'm working on, like, I, I, I have a record deal as a rapper, you know what I mean? So that's, yay. Right. But, uh, <laughs> hey, that's an accomplishment, but, though. Yeah, but it, it, like, it, you know, it's great, but I'm a poet. Like, the only reason I'm a rapper is because I just know how to rap my poems, like, but I'm a poet, so I'm doing like, uh, it's actually like reverse engineering, because we got a bunch of acapellas, mm -hmm. and... You're and a writer first. Yeah, yeah. and my, my brother is a, a music director, he has his own band and everything, so he's going to actually... It's hard trying to find that music to... Yeah, so he's going to uh -huh. build the sound behind it, yeah. and then I got a guy with electric guitar, and then uh, shout out to uh, Corey Martin, he's the music director at Whitthorn, but he plays the trumpet and the saxophone, yeah. he said he's he dope. so I would actually love to work with you guys, and because and, I want to put bridges and choruses mm -hmm. to it, all I, all I have is the hook, I mean not the hook, the, the poem, right. and then from that, it's just, it's free reign, like we want to get funky with it, we love funk music, yeah, you know what I mean, definitely. like so I want to just take it to places of like, because everything will be live instruments anyways, and then I do have a friend, uh, Carrie. It'll be live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. and uh, once it's done, my, my homeboy, uh, who's a producer, he makes beats, he's like, you know, you need like just some 808s in the back or something like that, I just add that, but I want to 
just get the the collective talent from around and and just make some Frankenstein dope oh, yeah. ass shit. You know what I mean? Like that's a good. I mean that that adds yeah. to like the diversity. not creating like a new genre, but in a mm -hmm. way it, it's creating something different. And that's where you see a lot of artists when they 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 have their own sound. As soon as you play it for you can hear them singing, you're like. Oh, I know who that is. Yep. Yeah. Just yep. from that sound that they carry. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I, I just want to see what happens. Like, we just do a gumbo. You know what I mean? Right. Because if you hear a dude with electric guitar, yeah, yeah, gumbo. dude with the. <laughs> like, it would just be. I'm from Swamp Plans. Let me talk about that. You know what I mean? Like, There's no telling what'll happen. You know what I mean? Like, motherfucker might. might you might be harmonizing <laughs> back here. Yeah. Hey, what you doing? I don't know. I just, I just hear it right there. Yeah. Throw that shit in up. Yeah. Like, it's got 50 layers on this one song. Who right. Cares? Let's do some cool shit. I don't really have a plan like performing it or anything, but I just know it'll sound dope. Mm -hmm. Like from just all the the people that we know, all the different elements that can be brought in just from here. Like man, I just know it'll sound dope. And then whatever is after that is icing on the cake. Right, right. <laughs> but I would love to be able to like work with y'all and just to because yes. God wish I, I wish I could sing. <laughs> that's, that's something that it, it, while I'm working on my own thing is, is, is I'm wanting to connect with some, some rappers and stuff and, and kind of maybe work on something that I can feature on you know, yeah. singing the hook or, or singing some kind of intro or something give it that soulful kind of country feel that way I can kind of step yeah, out of my box man. and get in their box and create exactly that's almost exactly. like with them like because I'm always all the time singing the hooks you know what I mean and sometimes I feel like I want to break you know what I mean so I'll just Play. I, I'll make a I'm beat always and I'll work. just get them to, <laughs> sometimes they'll just do the hook and I'll just do the verses you right. know what I'm saying and that's how and it see, that's with me when I write a hook I have to have somebody else do it because the only hooks I can write are singing and I can't sing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I promise to God when I figure out how to sing you will know it because <laughs> I'm going to sing every goddamn thing <laughs> but everything I do I have to get somebody on the hook because Everything is like sounds better with that melody, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I have a voice for rap. I can do poetry and da 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 I can't hold a note though. Oh God. My dog barks at me. It's just starts like like my dog, he just starts Oh real. That's a self esteem killer right there. <laughs> when you at the house by yourself, you really trying to just let it out. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get my best Johnny Cash. The dog crying. Hurt in person name. The dog start crying. <laughs> Man, all you gotta do is you just gotta talk to do that Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, I, I've chained him. Or, I've seen the train a come. It's coming around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. While well, I'm stuck in Folsom prison. God damn it! I'm just dragging <laughs> home. I he, can't do that. John, well, it, it, it's the thing, and I love Johnny Cash, and I respect the hell out because Johnny Cash is a very just almost kind of melody talks. Yeah, but he, nobody else do it like him. You know what I mean? The way he does it is just it's crazy. It's it's iconic. It's, it's fucking true. My favorite Johnny Cash song is Hurt. It's just yeah. I think that was the last one that he did before he passed. Yeah. Wasn't that Nine Inch Nails song though? Yeah, it was yeah, covered. It was yeah, Nine Inch Nails song yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's covered. Marilyn Manson. Covered, um, God's gonna cut you down. Yeah. And I love metal and I love Marilyn Manson. God bless, I wish he wouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, yeah, it's just like, it's okay, but it's not Johnny Cash. I don't know, look it up. I'm glad you stopped here. I wanted to like it, but I was like, it's not Johnny Cash. Man, because that's that, that chain rattle in the background and it. Yeah. Man, going to that long song like that motherfucker meant that shit. Yeah. He was like, I'm about to die next week. Yeah. I'm the God's gonna cut him down. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, nostalgic. All right. Okay. Yeah. What else we gotta talk about, guys? What you got on the plate, Tramp? Uh, he dropping albums and movies and, and merchandise and yeah. Hell I yeah. Know, I know. I gotta work tomorrow. Yeah, right, right. Okay. That's our cue. That's our cue. Anything you guys want to go over here, then we'll bring Timmy T, what's up? Anything uh -huh. you guys want to leave us with before we get ready to cut out? Man, other than a shout out to all my brothers, man. They locked up. They probably can't see this, and we're waiting for them to come home. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And, and everybody that, uh, you know, is buying my brother's music. Hey, for real, shout out Big John, man. I appreciate everything you did, homie. Real talk. 
he put one on for us when he did this right here, you know. And uh, there's a lot of other guys. Can't mention their name. Right, <laughs> it's yeah. real talk. I appreciate y'all fellas too. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be in this situation. You know what I'm saying? That's and, awesome. uh, and But we're going to keep on pushing, you yeah. know. And when we finna try to strive to be the best that we can be, man. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what we're to do. Love that talk. White bread skinny. Any shout outs? How can people uh reach out to you or do you listen to your, to any music you might put out? Yeah, 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 how does that gonna work? Is it all gonna come through Trinity Radio or your YouTube? Oh no, channel? I got he's got his own YouTube page. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, actually Check that project out. will be on his YouTube. And I'll probably make us a SoundCloud too. Okay. But it just depends, what you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll probably just make a whole new YouTube okay. for Trinity Radio Music Group. I don't know. But I might change the name of the music group. I don't know. See, I don't know. You just you don't know. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. It's <laughs> a change, you know. And that's a keep, good thing. Just keep everybody posted. Keep the yeah. information posted. Most definitely. That's the best yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. definitely yeah. gonna stay connected. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sure. Definitely. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Uh, but any shout outs though? All right, shout out to everybody. He <laughs> <laughs> said, "Here, man." Yeah, you know. yeah. 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 got people out there. He shouted me out. <laughs> I'm, I'm everybody. Yeah. <laughs> he meant me. Somebody. <laughs> If you want to buy some CDs, hit me up on Facebook Messenger. Hey, can you show the CDs to the, uh, to the... Yeah, we got a new, and then we got the old one. Y'all gonna have to check them out, though. Both of them lit, and, uh, you know, he spent a lot of time doing each one of these, and there's songs that should have been on this, but they ain't, and it's for a reason. But, uh, <laughs> I got, I got faith in my brother, and I trust him. You know what I'm saying? It's like he was telling y'all, uh... You know, he, he's over the music. We don't see a dime. And that's because it's all his money. You know, he pays for everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, most artists ain't like him. They don't they don't pay for their beats. They don't copyright nothing. And I thank my brother every day for doing that because it was smart, you know. Mm -hmm. And if he would have knew that back in the day, maybe it could have been different for him. Right. You know. That information, man. This, that information. Anybody that's in this music, man. If you if you for real want to do it, make sure you own it, you know, because it's so easy to get talked out of your product. Mm -hmm. Well, that and then when you make the music for free and then you put it out, you work so hard on it and then you're not getting nothing from it, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell the people that I really like mess with that come to my studio and they know because I, I pretty much just give them beats. You know? Damn, that's so what's up. They take it and they run with it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, any shout outs? How can people get in contact with you? Social media? Uh, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I got Spotify, iTunes for the new album, New Beginnings. They can get that everywhere. Uh, new Beginnings, Trini Ray. Trini Ray on All YouTube, right. everywhere. That's what's up. Uh, pretty much the same. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, whatever streaming platform. Um, small Town Voices on it. Uh, I've got two other singles on there. Um, they're kind of my first projects. So okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't promote them as much. They're 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 not mixed. They're not mad. They're they're very uh, they just thrown together. Good. But yeah. yeah. It, um, just but just call them a demo. Just really yeah, that's really what they are. They're demos yeah. that yeah. I just kind of put out there just just to get them out there. But right. you know, it's, the it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's my track pattern. So like every time I put something out, I listen to it and say, how can I do it better? How can the production be better? How can yeah. the quality be better? How can the yeah. lyrics be better? How can I tell that story better? It's a good thing time? you think like that because um, if you do something one way, you don't always want to do it the same way over and over again. The other thing is all my songs are completely different. Like I get a lot of people like, you're not big enough to be that diverse. And I was like, I don't know what else to do. It's like right. when I hear it, I, I envision the sound and the song in my head. That's how it goes. And that's the way it goes. And it may sound like, you know, similar to this artist or this, mm -hmm. and then the next song is going to sound completely in the other yeah, deal. Yeah. But it's they all sound like they're from different artists. And um, I guess in a way, that's why I'm working on my EP collectively, and, and, and I'm doing it all collectively, is so it all kind of fits in that same frame. Mm -hmm. so to try to stay in that box. Like also. Mm -hmm. But then when I put another one out, it may be completely different. different it may yeah. be more rock, or it may be, mm -hmm. you know, more country. So... I, I, yeah. <laughs> that's how but, I did um, with my album, my new album. That's pretty much how I did. I wanted, I wanted each song to be similar but still different. I'll tell you, I don't, um, <coughs> you might know who Sturgill Simpson is. No, I don't know. 
Oh my Simpsons. god. Huh? I don't know Stranger Things. You gotta do Stranger Simpsons Nashville Boy. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, every album he goes bluegrass, country, to like psychedelic country, like psychedelic type. He's talking about taking mushrooms and stuff. Oh, uh, to just old school, just country, like, you know, 50, 60 type country. Right. So, I mean, okay. every album is completely different. So, if you like one, you may not like the other. Right. Wow. And he does it all in a collective piece. Okay. Each album, and it's, it's, it's pretty cool. But he's a he's an artist here in Nashville as well. Okay, that's what's up. That'd be one of my big inspirations is Sturgill. Okay, I have checked it out. Uh, yo, dude, for real. Yeah. Sturgill sounds. I just like the name Sturgill. Sturgill, yeah. Mm. <laughs> sound like, like a fish. Sound like he got a blade on him. A blade. <laughs> he might. Who stabbed you, man? Sturgill. Um, that's the only thing. Tyler Childers. Him and Tyler Childers were touring together. Oh okay. shit! All right, so he's so doing he's, his thing. He's moving yeah. around. Oh yeah, yeah, he's been around That's for a while. That's what's up. Yo, uh, I had a, a hell of a time like with this whole talk about, you know, how far y'all done come, the work that you're putting in, what you got playing ahead. Man, I appreciate you guys for coming on the mothership. It Most was, definitely. It was an honor, you know what I mean, to get more acquainted with you, and I, I hope that. We all stay in, in good contact. I hope that you guys, you know, do some work together. And, Most and if, y'all, if you do, definitely. come back on and premiere for the world. You know what I mean? Right. You always yeah, welcome on the mothership. Uh, anything that we got? Yeah. Um, not right now. I think the month of December, we're going to take off for a break for the holidays. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah. letting you know that. Um, so if you don't see us on December, and we'll, we'll still have other content. You know, we, we tour when we go off, so... We'll go on other people's shows, and we'll probably pop up at a few people's businesses to do interviews and stuff. Mm-hmm. So if you're interested in that, just reach out to us, send us a message on the page. Who that reviews still. Yeah, yeah who that reviews. We'll probably pop some of that off, too, get yeah. some of that holiday food. Exactly. Yes, yes. So we're going to be eating good. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah. We're going to be eating good. <laughs> <laughs> So, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, Thanksgiving is care next week. Yeah, yeah. God bless. Yeah, nice. Well, man, we got Halloween one. came and went. Halloween was fucking out of here fast. I feel like Halloween. The first pumpkin I seen, it was like November. <laughs> No, well, believe it or not, though, we really didn't even have that many Halloween trigger feeders on our room. We usually we have hundreds. For real? It's like that last day. year when I took my Shit, kids. Shit, they all so. came to my neighborhood. <laughs> damn kids. I got to where I do the trunk or treats. Because it's just, yeah, after it's COVID easy. and everything, yeah. I just take kids' trunk or treats, just walk them through the... Yeah, they can the save a lot of candy. And, and then yeah. I don't have to be out as long. All right, right. There, there you go. Yeah. You got a whole bag. Has anybody had kids that, like, aren't really into the candy? I ain't got no kids. Not yet, I got, no. I got bags of candy at the house. There's no hoopla, nothing, nothing at all. I I'm leading up to Halloween. It was the only important thing in the world. We have bags yeah. of candy. They just walk past it. It's like, your job as a father to eat it after they collect <laughs> it. <laughs> and you eat it. Oh, I'm slacking. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there was right. a, I saw a post uh, where they were having places. I'll be in the bed with it on my belly like a fat ass. Just. <laughs> well, they were donating. People were like, hey, I'm trying to donate my Halloween. Well, that, and I've seen people yeah. on Facebook uh, buy stuff trying to trade big old things of candy for stuff. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. Well, like Damn. toilet paper? No, like, <laughs> you know, like uh, you know, tubs of it. Croak is out. You got some TP? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some nerves and some waffles. I got, some waffles. <laughs> I got Kit Kats. I know you want them Kit Kats. Right, right. Two two rolls of toilet paper, please. Right. <laughs> wow. Dude, I'm going to the junk box for some nerds. Oh, oh man, I love nerds. Oh, yeah. I love like yeah, fruit. Yeah. Favorite candy? My favorite candy? Yeah. Sour Patch Kids. Me too. That's off the rip. Yes. That's oh, the big case of Michigan in this. I might man. be judged for this, but my favorite candy is Swedish Fish. Oh, the sweetest fish? Yeah. I like, we got no sweetest fish. You like <laughs> gummy worms? Gummy worms? Yeah, gummy worms. I catch so much shit when I tell people like sweetest fish. I'll I, I be honest, I, I didn't want to judge you because you told me not to, but I did a little bit on the inside. I was sweetest fish. I like love favorite? Them. Yeah. You're, you're disappointed every Halloween, hands down, because like, we, we had... No, because I'm grown. I can go to Kroger's yeah. box. <laughs> <laughs> I have to walk to go get it. I don't go get it. it. Look at my grown ass in a costume. They call the cops. <laughs> right, 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 right. And, and then trying to discuss at the door. No Swedish fish? No. <laughs> you don't get that big ass on. What is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll just grab my kids and be like, trick or tweet. Yeah. <laughs> tweet. Yeah. What do you got in there? Exactly. Like, so let's shoot over here. Favorite candy. 
Man, I'm gonna have to go with them Sour Patch kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sour Patch. My little girl, she man, she likes all kind of candy. But uh, ever since her mama, she's been uh, going to school to be a assistant dental hygienist, mm-hmm. and uh, so we try to cut back on that. You know, yeah. just just trying to be better parents, man. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just because she's already had a whole lot of work done to her teeth. Yeah. And, uh, I, I don't know if y'all feel like I feel, but I don't like no type of anesthesia or nothing like that because right. they can give you a little bit too much. Don't well, they know. had to uh, do like a little procedure on my little three-year-old girl, and it's like, it's scary, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. real scary, and uh, and it can all be prevented. You know, they still have candy. They just can't have as much, right. you know what I mean? Right. Even right. sugar drinks. You wouldn't even believe it, like apple juice. You oh, even they're loaded. It, you know, you learn all this stuff whenever you have kids, but right. before you have them, you don't, you, don't, you, you ain't care. care. You ain't yeah. Care. Yeah. Yeah. You're chasing Red Bulls with Kool-Aid, yeah. five-hour yeah. energy, and just yeah. killing yourself. Don't even realize. Don't even realize. It doesn't yeah. matter. But shout out to to Carly Bell, man, because she's doing her thing, and uh, she's taking care of our family and our kids, you know what I'm saying, with, a, with what she's trying to do. And, uh, that's beautiful. I just, I mean, that's my world, you know what I'm saying, them kids and that woman, man. That's yeah. what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Candy? Uh, Eminem. Eminem? Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Brown or yellow? Uh, the I yellow bag or brown bag? Brown bag. bag. Okay. <laughs> you, got the, you got the ass. Is the yellow bag? Yeah. 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 See, I'm a candy <laughs> man. I, I know. I yeah. know. When I was in high school, uh, I was a very smart ass child. So, like, if you get in trouble when you're a kid, you know, they always like, well, you're never going to get anywhere with that attitude. Or yeah. how are you going to get a job if you act like that? So I used to always say, well, I'm on my own business. And like, that was just my like comeback. And they always were like, what business are you going to own? I'm like, a candy store. <laughs> like, that was like for three years, everybody in the school knew. Brandon said he's going to own a candy store so nobody ever fired. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Hey, that was my, uh, you know, the West Side store, the, the yellow store? Yeah. That I was going to buy it. And it turned into a candy store. Oh, wow. Yeah, and now we got the, the capital up, though. Yeah. That's I like want to buy a fire truck, like an old fire truck, yeah. and like gut the center of it and make it a food truck. Yeah? Firehouse chili dogs. Oh, wow. Hey, hey that's a winner, winner chicken day. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah.